Caitlin Clark is a superstar and she's kind of taken off since March Madness last year. Um, her and Angel Reese had that just aw super competitive, just awesome back and forth. And everybody's talking about like the women's college basketball and and less less so than than even the men's. She's broken the record for the all time scoring leader in college basketball, men and women. She's going pro. Is she going to translate her pot? Is this popularity where all her games are selling out? She's doing autographs. She's doing. I mean, she is a superstar right now. Is that going to translate? And is that going to help? take the WNBA to another level or is this a college basketball kind of bubble thing and it it's not going to transfer um brother bill i'm going to start with you so i would say the first question is is the popularity going to transfer um i mean sure it can transfer only because and like anything if you see a story often enough you see a person often enough then you'll be curious, even if you're the casual fan, about what it's all about. So there's popularity and there's success. Um, she's coming out of a school in Iowa, uh, Midwest, right? Going to the WNBA, which is very regional, right? I mean, there are only certain regions where the the teams even get any notable coverage. So the key is going to be which team does she go to? Um, if it's a big market team, then that will bold well. But if it's a small event market team, it's it's going to be tough. I mean, I, I think it's I think it's projected to be Indiana. Okay. Um, when's the last time we've heard anything out of? Uh, I, I don't even know what the name what that team is. When's I the last time that... the Fever? Right. So that answers that question. So she might be popular in Indiana and in Midwest, but outside of that, at other markets, don't know. Or does that even matter? The other question is to answer, I think something else you said before the podcast started with both her and Angel Reese come, you know, going into the WNBA. Um, could this be a repeat of, you know, when Bird coming from Indiana State and Magic coming from Michigan State? State. Yeah, both went right, considering they just played, you know, in the championship the year before. Um, the question I think is going to be whether or not you know, Caitlin Clark's popularity to answer your question boosts, you know the popularity of the WNBA as a whole. And we always say this, going from college to a professional team where the caliber of the competition is, it should be greater, right? Is she going to get these wide open three looks in WNBA that she was getting in college? We'll have to wait and see. I mean, uh, go ahead. I say, uh, Brother James, uh, Caitlin Clark going to the WNBA, is this going to help the WNBA become, I mean, granted, I, to be, I swear to God, didn't know Indiana had a women's basketball team until they said Caitlin Clark's going to the WNBA. So, I mean, not, not that I pay attention all the time, but that's, that's an issue. Granted, I'm more of a casual basketball fan, but brother James, do you think that Caitlin Clark going pro and being, let's just say she's successful because she's been really successful up to this point. Is that going to help catapult the WNBA? I don't think one individual is going to be able to catapult the WNBA. Uh, uh, my issue is, I, I think some in some way it needs to be intertwined with the NBA. Uh, they started trying to do that with the All Star Game, with, you know, with Curry in it. Uh, I think that's the answer to catapulting them. Is is you know. Maybe having a certain part of season, you know, that intertwines with the NBA or the NBA players do something with the WNBA. Uh, but I, 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 as far as her competition wise, I mean, just like anybody else, when you realize this, you, you was great in college, but you got to realize now you're going to places, you're going to a place where they, everybody else is great in college as well. Uh, and so it, are do you are do you have the, oomph, you know, to have a success like you did in college? You know, you look at like Magic Johnson when he first came to the Lakers, he struggled. You know, he struggled a little bit. You know, during the first couple games, then it some clicked. So if she's that type of uh, player and that type of competitor, then it a click for her. So uh, that's. That's my opinion. All right, Deacon Hill, Caitlin Clark coming, going pro. 
Yeah, well, I, I agree with uh, Brother Bill and James on that. You know, the competition is going to be a whole different level. So that's one aspect of it. And I was looking at the, the uh, they projecting her as a fantasy player. The, the definition for her as being successful is if she could finish in the top 10 in, in the fantasy uh, categories, you know, that would be uh, considered a success. Then they talk about, um, you know, uh, far as her endurance, she's playing a full college season right now, and then she's going to got to go into the NBA. Is she going to be able to sustain that energy level and, and compete on that level? Again, um, um, j just the, the, the fact you saying that she's going to be popular. Everybody's going to be right off the bat. She will be. Cause that just because of the curiosity factor, then it depends on how she actually adapts and, and what she uh, achieves as a player, you know, and again, the women's sport is, is, is getting more um, notoriety and popular, but um, it still has a ways to go. Just like you, like you said, you know, there's, they don't even have franchises, you know, in, in, in a lot of markets right now. So it has, it has a ways to go. And, but it's good that she, she's, she's coming in and everybody, the curiosity is going to be there. Is it, you know, how long if she sustains that, we'll we'll have to see. Yeah, I'm thinking if she comes in and she drops a few of those like Damian Lillard, Steph, almost at you know, at the logo kind of three pointers, it she'll she'll be popular. Cause I mean if you can if you're if you're making the highlight reel for Sports Center, it's gonna and you're all you know, you're always in the top five because you drop these bombs from way far out. It's yeah, that that'll that'll definitely help. I mean, it's it's cool to see. And I definitely think that whole thing with Steph, um, that whole three point competition with um at the, the all star break weekend, I think I think they're gonna expand that a lot. And I think that's gonna be I think that's gonna really get um the WNBA shooters um definitely in the mix with NBA for sure.